Hello everyone. The reason for this video is to take you through the process of setting up a safe exam browser and how you'll be loading up the configuration for the Federal Polytechnic Laro E exam. The first thing is we have provided you a series of instructions on the school website. So we are going to navigate to the school website right now. And you have to scroll down to the new section. Under the new section, you, you are going to see a, a particular news there that says procedure for setting up safe exam browser and configuration. So all you have to do is click on read more. Then scroll down a bit and you'll see a number of steps that you have to follow. And the first note there says, ensure you have a computer at your disposal with at least 2 gig RAM. So the first step is for you to download the Safe Exam Browser 3.0 for Windows. It is always advisable that you make use of the Windows or Prison system. So I'm going to click here. There's a link after the Windows. So I'm going to click on that link and it's going to take me to a page that will, that will download safe exam browser for me. So I'm going to wait for it to download. And just because I've already downloaded safe exam browser on my on my computer, so I would I'm going to skip that process but you can always download from that link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the file that I've downloaded on my system or on my computer, and I'm going to run that file. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder, and I'm going to run the safe exam browser executable file. So I'm going to double click this, and a dialog box should appear or a prompt to appear. So I'm waiting for it. Now I'm going to click on check. I agree to the license terms and condition, and I'm going to click on install. Now, so now Safe Browser have been successfully installed on my computer. So I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go to instruction number two on this cool website which says once download is completed, launch Safe Browser executable file. The executable file downloaded, which I've done, follow the prompt to install, which I've done that. Once installation is completed, download the Safe Browser exam app launcher file from this URL. So I'm going to follow this instruction that says click here. Now once I click, it's going to download the exam file for me. And this exam file, automatically launches the application you'll be taking the exam on. So I've already downloaded that application on my system, so I don't need to download it again. But once you click here, it's going to automatically download that file for you. So I have the file on my system, which is, which is the file that has this name. So during the time you might be downloading yours, it might come with a different name. So Instruction number five. The file is downloaded. Locate the file in your downloads folder. Double click the file. Double click the name of the file and wait for Safe Browser to be launched. So I'm going to minimize once again. I have the file on my computer already. So I'm going to. I'm waiting for the file to launch. So what it just does is this file works hand in hand with the save browser. Can you see? This save browser is launching. Now, almost every time you launch your save browser, you launch a file. 
and is about to trigger the save browser it's going to bring up this um, dialog box or the pro a prompt like this and it's going to say the client configuration has been saved and will you will be used when start scb the next time do you want to quit for now so you are going to click on no immediately the save browser launches you're going to see the Federal Polytechnic LRE exam and you're going to see an input form asking you for your application number. So you type in your application number and you click on login. When you click on login, you're going to see a brief in instruction and you're going to see your name by the left with your application number and your and your program type so just verify that that is correct and you click on start the exam once the exam starts there is a count countdown timer that is reading and you're going to see your exam questions then you can toggle in between these questions by using the previous and the next answers questions answered questions are marked in red what questions you have not answered are left in color green. Once you are done answering the exam questions, you can click on submit. Then a prompt is going to ask you, are you sure you want to submit? Then you click on submit exam if you are sure you want to submit or you click on close to go back to the exam. Once you click on submit, the page is redirected back to the login page and you can go ahead and quit the save browser if these instructions are not clear enough you can make use of the chat widget on the school website to be able to reach our support